A giant lizard is launched. That's not very nice to launch a giant lizard. Unless it's a giant flying lizard. But then we couldn't neglect air friction. Hmm. Okay, so it's from the top of a cliff. Okay. I really didn't think about the whole giant lizard thing until just now. All right, so it's 45.2 meters tall. There's the giant lizard. And it's 28 degrees, so it's kind of one of those low angle launches. 28 degrees. And it's 26.6 meters per second. All righty. All right. Okay, so the first thing I got to do is I got to find, take the components of this. I can't do anything for you until you send me a soil sample. So that's going to be 26.6 cos 28. That's 23.486. That's meters per second in the x direction. And then I got to go this times the sine of 28, right? So 26.6 sine of 28. And that's 12.488, roughly. In the y direction, okay? So again, this is, this is just, we're just finding components, right? So that's going to be 26.6 cos 28 in the x direction, right, plus 26.6 sine 28 in the y direction. All right. All righty. Um, so now I feel like we know, we always know these guys, right? This guy's 0 and negative 9.81, right? But we also know this and this and this and this. Okay. Let's see if you can fill those in without help. Already, well, I'll help you. So I see 23.486 and 12.488. And this is the same, right? 23.486. And this is, we go down, right? We're from the top of the cliff. So we're going to go down 45.2. So it's going to be negative 45.2. And that's because it goes down, right? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing that we kind of always do, right? Um, to solve for t would be quadratic. As much as I'd love to just do that, um, I'm going to solve for the v and then the t. So in the vertical direction, I'm gonna do v squared is u squared plus two as. So the absolute value of v is the square root of, uh, let's see. Uh, in the vertical, 12.488 squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 45.2. I always, I always got to cover that. I feel like, woo. All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, I could do this. Got that guy squared. Okay, plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 45.2. All right, let's see if we got this. And this is 32.292. So the absolute value of V is 32.292 meters per second, right? Okay, we choose V equals negative 32.292. And the reason we do that is that this thing is going to go out. When it hits the ground, it's definitely going down. Okay, so we just have to choose that negative 32.292 meters per second. All right, next thing to do is use uh, V equals U plus AT. Okay, so our final velocity is negative 32.292. That equals 12.488 plus negative 9.81 times t. So I ought to be able to solve for that time. Let's see if I can do that. 
Okay, what did I do? I know what to do. Okay. All right, I've got that, and then divide by 9.81. And the time in the air is, I'm getting the time is 4.5647. And of course, we can castle that across. I still don't know if I've got the right answer. I'm looking at these answers. Will we get the right answer? All right, and now we can do the, um, the horizontal direction, right? So horizontally, right? All we ever do is just S is UT, right? So that's going to be uh, this guy times this guy, right? U is 23.486 times 4. Uh, 0.5647. All right, let's see what I get. I'm going to shoo, we got that. Okay, so let's see. Got that guy times this guy. I got 107.2 meters. All right, so that's how far horizontally it goes, and that's what I got before. And then it says, what's the speed? Uh, um, of impact, right? All right? Time in the air, by the way, would be 4.56 seconds if they ask that. That's the other thing they ask. They being me, sorry, I don't know. Those people that make the tests, don't blame me. No, blame me. Okay, let's see. Oh, speed, speed, speed. Okay, so for the speed, we're going to take this guy and make a vector out of it. So it's going to be over. Oh, it's going to be down. Hard to draw straight lines like that. Don't laugh at me. 23.486. And then this is 32.292. And then the, um, the, the speed is going to be the magnitude of that, right? So 23.486 squared. All right, so let's see. <laughs> okay, I got this. I've got this. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> square root of, uh, let's see, do to do, do square, that guy. I just found that number, this number, uh, plus the other number squared. Let's see. Just got to find it on my calculator. There it is 39.9, 39.9297 meters per second. So 39.9 meters per second is correct. All right, so 107 meters, uh, it goes through the air. Its final velocity of impact with the ground is, is faster. Notice it's faster than the speed it was launched with, and that's simply because it uh, has what potential energy up here. So you have potential and kinetic, and here you only have kinetic, so it's got to go faster. Um, all right.